Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think, uh, I, you know, <clears throat> I think that when we do feel uh, that, that, that feeling of, of burnout, I think, I think it's ourselves trying to tell us what we actually need. You know what I mean? Um, I don't, I don't necessarily think that we're burnt out from the experience. I think we just need to shift our focus because mm -hmm. when we put, when we're putting all of our effort or putting all of our energy into connections and doing for, you know, doing things that we want, you know, to, 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 to be as like a lead by deed, you know, sort of thing. It's not the, it's not that we ever turn it off. Um, it's just that at, at, I think at some point, points in in our existence and in our experiences as as beings as what we are that we reach certain points that in order for our health to be kept well you know we need it that 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 focus needs to be shifted right we're not turning it off completely we just like hey we, we need to turn our gaze elsewhere um i'm putting too much into this thing right now and it's in its you know taking maybe too much out of me. I need to, I need to refocus. I need to, I need to shift my focus into, into other areas, whatever that might be, whether it's ourselves or whatever, right. Whatever the, whatever the circumstances might be, I think, you know, I think we are, um, I think we're, I think we're really in tune with ourselves more than we give ourselves credit for. Right. Uh, if you're feeling burnt out about doing something, um and it's probably because you're just putting you know putting more into it than what needs to be put into it at the time and now you need to shift focus into into other things and that's the beauty of it you know we're not you know we're not uh we're not stationary creatures you know what i mean it, you know we're, we're we're not trees in that aspect you know we can mm -hmm. move if we don't like something you know I saw something not too long ago. It's like, if you don't like where you are, then fucking move. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you don't like where you're at at a, at a particular stage of things, like then move. You're not a tree. You don't have to sit here and take it. Mm -hmm. Get up and move. Like, and and I think part of the experiences that we feel with burnout is is ourselves telling ourselves that like I got to get away from this particular thing. And I think it's also important to to realize that if we get to that point, then maybe that's a lesson for ourselves to t put more attention to the process mm -hmm. and not allow ourselves to get to that point of burnout. I mean, it's going to happen. You know what I mean? Like, I'm going to be burnt out from doing podcasts at any given point in time. I mean, I felt it a number of times this year. And I've been like, sorry, guys, I need a week. You know, I need to take a week. And then in advance of that, I thought, well, let me plan when I'm going to tie this season off and then let people know, like, I'm, I'm not going to be doing the podcast for, you know, the next week or two or however long it's going to be. I'm taking this time off. And realize that that is a necessary part of all of this. We can't be on 100% of the time with what we're doing, right? We've got to... We've got to be sensitive to our our feelings of things and know that um, if we feel burnt out, then it's probably because we've exhausted all we can with that particular thing, and we need to shift our focus. I don't know what you think about it, but oh, kind of me talking through it. <laughs> yeah, you know, relationships too. I mean, I love my wife; she loves me. Um, you know, been together for eight years. Um, and there's plenty of times where it's just like, I need a break from you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I love the hell out of you, but I just, I, I got to get away from you for this duration, for this moment, for this time, whatever. Like, I need a, I need my space. And that's fair. That's a fair thing to expect of people, you know? Mm -hmm. it, you know, I wouldn't want somebody up my butt 24 7. You probably don't either. I mean, the, the, the idea, the notion of, that probably sounds better than what the reality of it is to a lot of people. But I'm telling you, you know, like the novelty will wear off really quick. If you have somebody just up your butt 24 <laughs> seven, you know, point. I mean? that's, that's a good point. You're going to get burnt out. They're going to get burnt gonna, out. You know? Yeah. It's going to get carried away sometimes, but 
Yeah, it is, you know, and, and, and it's such a weird place to be in, you know, to, to, to crave something, to want something, to work hard for something that you crave. And then when you get it, you're like, why do I hate this thing now all of a sudden? Why am I, why, why, why is this the last thing that I even want having, you know, busted my butt to get it? It's weird, man. It's, it's strange how that can go you know working hard for something and then almost abhorring the idea of it once you get there mm -hmm. weird you know that's how it was in my job too i mean good god <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm i'm sure you know like you you know you want you think you know generally speaking that you know you work hard for something because you know that's what we're supposed to do we, we have this I guess, preconceived idea or notion that, you know, you work hard, you get a raise, you get a promotion, you get a better life, or at least the means to provide for a better life, you know, and all these types exactly. of things. This, this very, you know, Western uh, concept of, of society and, and all these types of things. And then when you get there, it's like, well, where is it, you know? Well, you've had it, you, you you got it, and and now the work comes in to, to to keep it and to maintain it. It's it's it doesn't get easier. The more the, you know, when you strive for greatness, you know, like it it doesn't get easier now that you've got there. If anything, it becomes even more of a task to to maintain and keep it. You know, yeah. And I think that's what a lot of people re, uh, reach with burnout is that they 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 like the idea. Or the notion of achieving something they just they don't they don't fully grasp the responsibility of what that thing is once they get it yeah. when they get a taste of it the the real work comes in when when you you get to that point you, know, you can't just you can't just sit back and coast <laughs>